Something extraordinary is happening beneath our feet, and the world is only just starting to notice. Over the past few months, volcanoes across the planet have begun erupting with unusual timing, unusual intensity, and in unusually high numbers. Lava is pouring from long, silent fissures in Iceland. Ash clouds are rising from volcanoes in Indonesia, the Philippines, and Central America. Entire towns in Africa are evacuating as mountains that have slept for thousands of years suddenly roar back to life. Even Antarctica, the coldest, most remote place on Earth, is revealing signs of heightened volcanic heat beneath its melting ice. For many, it feels as though Earth itself is growing more restless, as if something deep beneath the crust is shifting in a way humanity has not witnessed in modern times. Is Earth entering a new phase of volcanic unrest? The truth is both fascinating and unnerving. Earth's volcanic engine is alive, dynamic, and responding to forces we are only beginning to measure. And as activity accelerates across multiple regions at once, the question is no longer if another major eruption will happen, but where, when, and how much it will disrupt our world. Join us today as we delve into the global volcanic surge and what it may mean for the decades ahead. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button and like this video as it's the best way to support this channel. Over the last few months, a number of volcanoes around the world have broken or continued their repose, painting a dramatic picture of a planet in motion. One of the most startling recent events was the eruption of Haile Gubi in Ethiopia, a volcano that had remained dormant for roughly 12,000 years. On November 23, 2025, the Shield volcano erupted explosively, sending massive ash and gas plumes rising as high as 14 kilometers into the atmosphere. Satellite data tracked a vast plume of sulfur dioxide and ash that drifted across the Red Sea toward Yemen and Oman, even reaching as far as northern India and parts of Asia, triggering flight cancellations. Though there were no confirmed casualties, the eruption blanketed nearby villages in ash and disrupted air travel. Scientists now regard the event as a stark reminder that long-dormant volcanoes, even after millennia of quiet, can suddenly reawaken. In mid-November 2025, mm. Mount Samaru, the highest peak on Java and one of Indonesia's most active volcanoes, erupted with a force that startled both local communities and volcanologists. On mm. November 19th, authorities raised the alert level to its highest, which is level four after a series of explosive events launched searing clouds of ash, rock, lava, and volcanic gas cascading down its slopes. The eruption sent hot volcanic material as far as seven kilometers down from the summit, and a dense ash column soared roughly two kilometers into the sky above Lumajang district. In the days following the major blast, Samiru didn't go quietly. Monitoring agencies logged dozens of additional eruptive events over the subsequent week, with ash plumes rising near daily and repeated explosive earthquakes shaking the region. In the Pacific, Kilauea on Hawaii began a new eruptive episode on November 25, 2025, launching sustained lava fountains about 120 meters high from its crater vent. This marks another phase in the long-running activity of one of the world's most closely monitored volcanoes. The eruption remains confined within the National Park area, but the visible lava fountains and increased volcanic tremor underscore how even well-known volcanoes can abruptly intensify. Far to the north, Bezimiani in the Kamchatka Peninsula of Russia erupted explosively on November 26, 2025 sending ash up about 37,000 feet into the atmosphere, prompting aviation warnings across the region. The rapid ash column rise and continuing explosions emphasize the volatility of subduction zone volcanoes in tectonically active regions. Meanwhile, in the Andes on the border of Chile and Argentina, the Planchon Piedroa volcanic complex entered a new eruptive phase between late October and early November 2025. It emitted continuous gas and ash plumes, reaching 15,000 feet, with persistent degassing and minor explosive activity reported by regional monitoring networks. These eruptions illustrate a complex and dynamic global tapestry of volcanic unrest. 
Each event carries its own geologic context, risk profile, and regional implications. But collectively, they underscore a planetary moment of heightened volcanic visibility and unpredictability. A significant driver of the recent volcanic spike is tectonic stress. Several major plate boundaries around the world are currently experiencing unusual patterns of strain, movement, and seismicity. Conditions that often precede or accompany volcanic activity. The Pacific Ring of Fire, the world's most active tectonic zone, has seen intense seismic sequences in the last few years, including major earthquakes in Alaska, Japan, Kamchatka, and the Southwest Pacific. These quakes, occurring along subduction zones where oceanic crust dives beneath continental plates, can alter the stress distribution within volcanic arcs. Stress transfer is a powerful phenomenon. A magnitude 8 earthquake in one region can subtly affect stress fields hundreds or even thousands of kilometers away. Magma reservoirs, already pressurized, may respond by fracturing their surroundings or initiating fluid migration, setting the stage for eruptions months or years later. The East African Rift is another area showing signs of accelerating tectonic divergence. This massive split running through Ethiopia, Kenya, Tanzania, and Mozambique is literally tearing a new ocean basin into existence. Along its length, dozens of volcanoes, many poorly monitored, have shown increased fumarolic activity, deformation, and seismic swarms. Even mid-ocean ridges, typically producing gentle submarine eruptions invisible to human eyes, have exhibited heightened seismicity. The Mid-Atlantic Ridge, stretching from Iceland to the South Atlantic, has produced unusual tremor sequences linked to magmatic movement beneath the seabed. These patterns indicate that global tectonic stress is not static. Instead, Earth's lithosphere is undergoing a phase of dynamic adjustment, and volcanoes act as pressure valves for these rearrangements. Perhaps the most intriguing aspect of the recent volcanic surge lies in its relationship with climate change. Many volcanoes, especially in Iceland, Alaska, the Andes, and Antarctica, sit beneath or beside massive glaciers that exert significant pressure on the crust. When these glaciers melt, the reduced pressure above the magma chamber allows molten rock to ascend more easily. This process, known as glacial unloading, can increase both the likelihood and intensity of eruptions. Iceland serves as a prime example. As the island's glaciers retreat due to warming temperatures, models predict that volcanic activity may increase significantly over the next century. Historical evidence supports this. The end of the last ice age coincided with a profound surge in eruptive activity as massive ice sheets collapsed. The interplay between climate and volcanism is complex, but the current geological moment is unique. Earth is warming faster now than at any point in human history. The rapid destabilization of ice, sea levels, and atmospheric systems is creating unprecedented environmental conditions and volcanoes, highly sensitive to pressure, temperature, and moisture, are responding accordingly. One of the most concerning aspects of the recent volcanic surge is the reactivation of long dormant volcanoes. When a system that has been quiet for thousands of years suddenly awakens, it poses immense challenges for scientists and governments alike. The Ethiopian volcano Haile Gubi erupted after an estimated 12,000 years of slumber. This unexpected event sent shockwaves through the scientific community as the eruption occurred in a highly populated region with limited monitoring infrastructure. Similarly, several Indonesian and Philippine volcanoes dormant for centuries have shown renewed unrest. Dormant volcanoes are particularly dangerous because their long inactivity allows pressure to build gradually over millennia, potentially leading to explosive eruptions when they finally awaken. Moreover, many of these systems lack detailed eruption histories, making forecasting extremely difficult. Such reactivations raise the question, are more dormant giants preparing to awaken in the coming decades? While no definitive answer exists, the convergence of climate change, tectonic stress shifts, and internal magmatic cycles 
suggests a heightened global potential for unexpected eruptions. The recent spike in global volcanic activity reflects a complex interplay of Earth's internal rhythms, climate-driven environmental changes, shifting tectonic stresses, and enhanced global monitoring. Some volcanoes are erupting more often, some are erupting more explosively, and some dormant systems are awakening for the first time in thousands of years. Together, these patterns create the impression, and perhaps the reality, of an increasingly restless Earth. The coming decades are likely to remain volcanically active, perhaps more so than the 20th century. Several factors contribute to this outlook. Accelerated glacial melt, ongoing tectonic stress accumulation, increased detection capabilities, and natural magmatic cycles that may be converging across multiple volcanic arcs. Scientists predict increased eruption likelihood in Iceland, Alaska, and Antarctica due to rapid ice loss. The Pacific Ring of Fire, which holds the planet's most explosive volcanoes, shows no sign of quieting. Humanity cannot stop volcanic eruptions, but it can prepare for them. Better satellite coverage, expanded seismic networks, improved hazard models, and international cooperation will all be essential in navigating a century that may experience more volcanic shocks than any other in recent history.